In this video, I will show you how to install a collection of 200 Doom WAD ports onto your Mio Mini or Mio Mini Plus running Onion OS. First, I will go over what this means, who made this possible, and some preliminary steps you may have to take. Then I will show you how quick and easy it is to install this collection, and at the end of this video, I will cover some tips and tricks, like how to improve performance, fix issues you may run into, and go over keybinds. Okay, let's get on with it. Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and for those who don't know, a Doom WAD is a file that contains game data like levels, textures, sounds, sprites, and so on. For a long time now, people have created their own WADs, making fan-made levels or even games running on the Doom engine. The Reddit user JoviFlow1 has put a collection together of some of the more popular Doom WADs and ported them to the Mio Minis. I want to thank Jovi and the original creators of these wads for making this possible. And I will have a link to Jovi's Reddit post in the video description. This collection uses the free Doom versions of the games, so you do not need to own Doom 1 or Doom 2 for this to work. This also means that there is no copyrighted material in this download. However, because of this, the collection will not include the original non-modded Doom 1 or Doom 2 games, as those are copyrighted. So a couple of preliminary things. If you have never used ports on the Mio Minis before, you will need to enable that option. If you already have done this, you can skip to the next chapter of this video. We enable ports by going to Apps, Package Manager, find and select the Ports option, then hit the Start button twice. Ports will then be accessible from within the game section after installed. For people who currently have any of the Doom ports already installed, you will need to clear out some files from the SD card to prevent conflicts, and I will go over which files those are now. If you have never installed Doom on your Mio Mini, go ahead and skip to the next chapter of this video. From the root folder on your SD card, navigate to ROMs, Ports, Games, and then open the Doom folder. If you have Doom wads located here, or in the separately named folders, you can copy these over to your computer if you want to add them back after installing the WAD collection. That way, you can play the vanilla versions of the games. Just a note that when you re-add them, they will need to be named Doom U WAD and Doom 2 WAD respectively, if they are not already. And you will need to add the shortcuts again, and those can be downloaded from the Onion OS ports page where you initially got them, and I will have a link in the description. Now back out to the games folder and delete the whole Doom PR Boom folder. Then go back to the ports folder, navigate to shortcuts, and delete the Doom collection folder. Next, we will back out to the root folder, go into saves, current profile, saves, and delete the PR Boom folder here. All right, that's all the prep we need to do. We can move on to the installation. In the video description, click on the link titled Doom Watt Collection and download the zip file. The file is a little over one gigabyte. Once the download is complete, unzip the files and you will have two folders, saves and ROMs. Drag both of these folders over to the root folder of your SD card. When this is done, place your SD card back in your Mio Mini Navigate to Games, hit the Select button, select Refresh All ROMs, then go into Ports, and select Import Ports. This may take a moment, but when it is done, you will see all the different games within the Doom folder. Now that is it for the installation. Next, I'll go over some tips and tricks, starting with performance improvements. Because some of these wads will have huge maps or lots of monsters on the screen at once, you will experience slowdowns. There are two ways to combat this. The first is overclocking your device. To do this, go to the description of this video, select and download the overclock file for the device you have, either the Mio Mini or the Mio Mini Plus. Then drag the extracted RetroArch folder to the root folder of your SD card. 
I don't want to bog down this video by deep diving into overclocking, and we'll save that for another video. But I will say that this improves performance by 15-25%. to 25%. The overclock has been set to a stable level for each device, and there has been no reports of devices overheating or having permanent damage that I have seen. However, as with overclocking anything, you do take some risk by pushing the device harder than stock. If you get worried that your device is getting too hot or experience the device freezing up, you can always remove the overclock by deleting the cpuclock.txt file located in the RetroArch folder. Another option is to open up this text file and decrease it by 100 or even 200. If you do make a change, remember to save. The second thing that can be done to improve performance is when you are running a WAD, you can lower the resolution. To do this, press the menu button and select to open the RetroArch menu, go to Core Options, and set the internal resolution to 320 by 200. You will need to save this change by going to Manage Core Options and selecting Save Game Options, as I tend to only want this for individual WADs. Restart the game after making this change. Next are some settings for issues you may run into. If a map is too dark, you can increase the gamma by hitting Start, going to Options, General, and setting the gamma correction to 2 or 3, whatever looks better to you. Some WADs are set to 35 FPS by default. If you want to change this, then change the frame rate from 35 FPS to 60 FPS. The key bindings are as follows. D-pad to move. L1 and R1 to strafe. L2 and R2 to cycle through weapons. X to shoot. Hold Y to walk or run, depending on your auto run toggle setting. You hold B to strafe. A to use things like doors or switches. Select to bring up the map. Use the menu button plus Y to toggle auto run. And if you want to change any of these keybinds, you can go into the RetroArch settings, select controls, port 1 controls. Here I will change the B button from strafe to 180 turn. After making your changes, back out and go to the manage remap files. And you can choose to save this for just one WAD by selecting save game remap, or for all of them by selecting save core remap. All right, so that's about everything for this video. I do want to say thanks again to JoviFlow1 for making this collection and porting them over to the Mio Minis. If you have any questions or run into any issues, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more content from FireX Techs, and as always, thank you for watching.